Okay, so this is transforming the graph of a rational function, and it says below is the graph of y equals 1 over x, transform to draw the graph of y equals negative 1 over x minus 4. So we have to remember our transformations. So we do know that when we have a negative in the front, um, we do need to do a reflection, and when the negative is in the front, it's actually this kind of reflection. So you're going to click on that button and what it will do is it'll have the original one like this or something like that and when you click on that button it'll make flip it over so that it now looks like this then you do have a minus four out there so you would shift it left or right um, so in this case um, I actually have, I would click on that button but I actually have to shift mine down four units so when you do that, it's going to now look like this in green. Oops, wrong one. It's going to take that red one and shift it down. So then the graph's going to look like this. Okay. And so then the green one would be your final answer because this one only has two transformations. I am telling you the order in which you need to do them. So if you have a reflection, make sure you apply that first. Then do your shifting left, up, down, all of that. And then you can start making it narrower or wider depending on the problem, okay? So for this one below, we also have two different sh um, things that are going on. Both of these happen to be shifts. So I really only need to select the one button, this button here, and move it around. So the original will look like this, and it's a squared, so it'll actually look like that. And then I need to shift it. it. Looks like I need to go up four and then to the left three based on the transformations there. So the new graph will be um, the new graph will look like this. Okay. Up. The horizontal asymptote will now be up at 4, and the vertical asymptote will now be at negative 3. Okay. Oh, sorry if you can't see the whole graph. So this was the original, and then what happened is um, it shifted the horizontal asymptote up 4 units, and it shifted the vertical asymptote over 3 units. And so then these little pieces are now way up there on the left.